Welcome to Iron and Ceramite Hobby Bashing. It is once again time for us to share some of the Mechanicum's forbidden knowledge. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Iron and Ceramite Hobby Bashing with myself, Tommy. Um, I'm just going to show you a very quick tip today on how to make your own hobby barbed wire for maybe, I don't know, a miniature base or perhaps you're making your own gaming table as I did myself recently with some success and some failure. But yes, let's get on to the tutorial. So for the first part, all you'll need is a ball of wire, which obviously you can get at any hobby store or on Amazon or eBay. Uh, it does bird's nest a little bit, as you can see, after you use it for the first time, but that doesn't matter. And obviously you need a pair of clippers as well. So all I will be doing is clipping two parts of around about equal length and then straightening, and straightening them a little bit. So there you go, as you can see I've clipped one long piece off, all you have to do to straighten it is hold it between your fingers and just pull it straight. It does go straight quite easily, as you can see, it's always going to have a little bit of a bend in it, but um, then just clip it right directly in the middle. There you go, so you've got two pieces that are roughly the same length. And now I shall start twisting. So all you need to do is start with the two ends of the pieces of wire, um, put one around the other, as you can see, a few times. This bit doesn't have to be too neat or anything, it's just so that they stay together. There we go. So as you can see there, it's a nice little uh, tight sort of a knot type of a thing. And then from then on, you literally just get one piece and just twist it around the other. You'll get your technique relatively fast with this. At the beginning, it seems a little bit tedious and a little bit frustrating. But once you get used to what you're doing, you can make the uh, loops as tight as you want or as um, long as you want, depending on how you want your barbed wire to look. But as you can see, it's going around nice and easy. Um, and I will, I will come back once I've finished this part. So there you go. I've finished twisting my two pieces of wire together. All I need to do now is to take my clippers, obviously clip off the two ends and any little sharp bits sticking off on the end that make it look unattractive and unlike it's supposed to. There you go, and you're left with this. Now I shall get on to the part where you shape it like barbed wire. So for the shaping of the barbed wire, all you really need is then something long and cylindrical um, that you can wrap this piece of wire around, uh, but you've got to make sure you can get it off again, sliding it off. So you need something that's open-ended. I happen to have a golf club, which as you can see I have beheaded. Ah, off with his head! Yeah, so sorry for that. Um, and it's just left me with this long cylindrical shape, which obviously I can wrap it around and then slide it off the end. So I'll show you, it's very easy to do. You just start off like this in the middle of the golf club shaft that I've got or whatever you're using and literally just wrap it around. And there you go. I've only made a small bit this time just for the purposes of the tutorial. But if you hold it on there in its shape for a little while and then maybe leave it on there for probably about, I'd say maybe 10 or 15 minutes just so it not sets, but just so it takes the shape that you want it to. And then I shall show you what it looks like afterwards. So there you go guys, I've taken it off of the golf club shaft now and as you can see it's in a decent little shape, looks like barbed wire, as it should, thank God for that. Um, but now you can ply it with your hands, you can sort of make it a little bit longer if you want. Obviously it would save you doing so much if you had a large area to cover like a gaming mat or whatever. Um, but I prefer to have it all pushed together like that so it looks a little bit more deadly a little bit more like razor wire um, so yeah go and try that out guys I hope you get on well let us know in the comments down below how you do get on and if this uh, small video was helpful thank you
as always, guys, thank you for joining us here on Iron and Ceramite. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you feel the need to put a comment down below, or if you've got any questions for us, uh, then go for it. We'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, if you'd like to consider following us as well on Instagram, Facebook, and on Twitter, then go for it. We'd love to have you. As always, happy hobbying. As always, we would like to thank you for listening to our Iron and Ceramite podcast. If you liked us, then you can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and any other good podcast services. Just remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war.